Hello everyone. Today I am discussing another algorithm challenge, which is also very common among interviews as well as the college assignments. So the topic is integer swapping with and without a third variable. So I will use Python for coding. So let's move to our task list. So as per the first method, I am using a third variable, a temporary variable for swapping. So that is a very easiest way. So that is, but but that is not suitable for the performance of a application. So the next one, uh, I will use bitwise operations. Let's discuss in detail here. So for the swapping, we need to use three bitwise XOR operations. So XOR operations means if if the both bits are zero or one, the resulting is zero. That means both are false or both are true means result is false if either one of only either one of is true and other one is false the result is true that means let's say for examples uh, we have a equals 5 in bit format 0 1 0 1 b is equal to 3 0 0 1 1 so let's for the first uh, first step a x or b is equal to a so what is a here this one b here this one so uh, 0 0 result is 0 1 0 result is 1 0 1 result is 1 we are taking the xor so last one 1 1 result is 0 okay so this is the uh, a now after the first step of xor so the next step of xor the we are doing the same a xor b and we get it into the b assigned into the b so now our a is this one b is this one so we need to get xor of this one and this one so 0 0 result is 0 0 1 result is 1 1 1 result is 0 1 0 result is 1 so you will get b as 0 1 0 1 that means 5 so now your b value is 5 that means previously a value you get the a value into the b now so after the third step of xor again you do the same a xor b is equal to a so now your a is this one b is this one you have to get xor of these two 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 this means 3 so now your a value is 3 b value is 5 you have swapped the values so this is how xor operations uh, done the trick for integer swapping so let's move to the coding part as well let's start the coding part with creating the python file swap dot python so for the first method i will use the third variable temporary variable so here my inputs should be two integers so inside that I will use another temporary variable called insert to store the x value first then I need to get y value and assign it to x my then next the stored desired value should be assigned to y so this is very simple as that the swapping with the third variable and I can return the x and y values here return x comma y so this is it for the uh, swapping method with third variable so I will, let's have a test case here so my x comma y value let's say equals swap 1 I will give 5 comma 3 here so my x value is 5 y value is 3 and assign it to x and y the final answer should be 3 comma 5 uh, ok let's print here print the x comma y and have a try on run 3 comma 5 we input as 5 comma 3 your result is 3 comma 5 our uh, task is done with the th third variable
now let's have a try with the swap2 method which is using uh, 3xor operations as we discussed earlier so here also uh, my input variables x and y similarly i can put the xor3 statements here so x is equal to no need of insert variable here uh, x is equal to x xor y uh, then y is equals to x x or y again x is equal to x x or y so then you can return x comma y similarly you can uh, swap values let's have another two values here x1 y1 x1 y1 here swap 2 i will put 10 here and 4 here the answer should be 4 comma 10 let's run here see you have first uh, one 3 comma 5 with the temporary variable and 4 comma 10 with the 3 xor operations so both methods are working fine but uh, when, when we are thinking on the optimization and memory usage here we use uh, another variable but here we doesn't use another variable we un only use x and y and with this bit bitwise xor operations so that is it for today's episode uh, what i need to say is we can swap using a third variable as well as a optimized method without using a third variable so i will upload this script into the video description so uh, keep suggest another algorithms and comment out here so thank you for watching uh, let's make from another episode thank you